Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with All the Wild, the Angler, and we are here with the new map that J they just made available, South African map. I think it's called Azilo Zasandulo, if I'm pronouncing that right. I think that's actually right, believe it or not. But one of the cool things they have here is a dinosaur park. That's where they start you off here. Come in and take a look at this, but this is the outpost for it. We go ahead and get the fast travel set up. Kind of cool. We got to find, I guess, the warden for this place, as well as the tackle shopkeeper. I haven't seen any. Let me take a map here. Now this is. Made a good size map, looks like. A lot going on. Apparently there's a whole bunch of clubs. That you... Locations that you can fish. It's not as huge as the Golden Reserve, but... It could be misleading. This may be a lot bigger than we think it is. I don't want to set a wait. Go ahead and get back on here, though. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of lag in the beginning, just because there's so much... Coming in here. Might be able to get a little bit here. Yeah, taking out the V-Sync a lot. I'm not sure where in the world we need to go here. If we need this building or... Yeah, I have not... This is like the first time I've jumped in at all. Okay, this is probably the tackle shop here. Or not. Where you get food. Maybe it's down here. Let's see what's going on. It's been a minute. What's up? Ah, tackle shop. There we go. Let's see her. Lissati Precious Amini, shopkeeper of Azilo Asandulo. I don't know if she's the person in charge or not, but I thought she was. Hmm. Well, I don't know what we can buy as far as equipment goes, but... Probably for now, let's just make do with what we have. Obviously, they're going to add a whole bunch of new stuff. Bottoms, new tops. I'm in need Boots, of little new thing. gloves, new and hats, obviously and I'll accessories. Give you something for your time. Station storage. Something for your time. I don't know how you get her to talk. Other than that, I think she's talking to him. Come back soon. Okay, here we go. Blue Kerper location challenge number one. That's where we catch one of the first of the species that we are going to be encountering. Let's take a look and see what kind of species we're dealing with here. Let's see. We've got well smallmouth bash, that's pretty traditional. Spotted bass. Common carp, so far so good. Grass carp. Here, carp. These are all familiar. Here's a new one. African sharp tooth catfish. African mottled eel. A blue carper. So that's what they're going to have us go after. I think there's some kind of a cichlid. Leave. They go for bloodworm, pearl barley, and doe. Probably, I think, a new one. We got a canary carper. 
Another cichlid. Lots of cichlids here. Redbreast Kerper. Now these I've seen in Fishing Planet. A purple labio. They're kind of interesting looking. I think they eat things off the bottom. There's the red nose labio. Ogle. Uh, that I've never heard of. A lot like a sucker fish. There we go. African tiger fish. That's what I want to get. Frog spoon spinner. Lakeshore, shallow lake, deep lake. So, be just about anywhere. Large mouth yellow fish. Small mouth yellow fish. Well, the only catfish we have, I believe, was the African sharp tooth. That's probably the heaviest fish in here. And the biggest predator would be the African tiger fish. But we definitely have to pay attention to the traits when we're going after them. So, if we're going for this Kerper, we're going to need to check its traits here. F. See, it's a hard fighter. Has to get its best off the hook. Goes for dough, bloodworm, and pearl barley. And that's really about all it's going to tell us, I think. Yep. Oh. Let's see if we can't get one. Sure. I can use a breather. Now let's we'll start here close to the shop. Definitely a beautiful place. This is gonna be really interesting, I think. To catch a bronze rank or higher blue curper by the marked location. Okay, let's crack that. Location. So yeah, they're gonna start us right off the dock here. I'm sure, that's what these other guys are doing. I love the way people from South Africa talk. They have such a cool accent. Such a cool accent. Okay, I hope I'm sounding a little. Microphone was down just a little bit. Let's see here. Well. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get this guy's way. Rods. The float fishing excursion. Oh, maybe an 8 or 9. Try 9. Safe. Got blood worms right here. This is a bronze one, so it shouldn't have to be huge. Don't know about leader length. We'll go with two. Nice. It okay, looks like we got something down there anyway. Got him. Wait and see what happens. Okay, there we go. I think that's what we're after, guys. Look at him. Come on, little fella. There it is. Herper. Actually, he's bigger than I thought he would be. A bronze one? Silver one. Nice looking fish. Get a picture. Here we go. First fish in it. Go ahead and release him. Did complete that first challenge. I don't know what to do from this point forward. We got our reputation. Alright. 
guess we're gonna have to do some traveling. Some boats. I think we can get some boats here. Yep. Grab a boat. I think as good as any. Alright, let's see what we can do about taking this somewhere. Map here. Yeah, it looks like we could go over to here. This is the dino park. Automobile pick up over well. There might be a dock over here in another place to fish. Maybe here as well. Let's take a look down here. Now we can see from different perspectives. A little bit of lag here. There's a dock. All right, got ourselves a new location. There's a boat rental place. Well, I don't see any signs of anything that we can start a challenge with. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. over here. No challenges there. Well, we could just try fishing, just see what happens. Definitely got activity. I don't know what's out there. Let's just throw it out there and see if we can get anything. Also have a bottom rod for that too, because it could be could be catfish. It looks like the bobber is actually floating with the current here. That's actually a good thing. More realistic. Caught though. Yep, I think it is. No! It's a red breast kerper. We got a different one. Very nice. Take a look at him. He's not quite as big as the other one. He's just kind of similar, just a more green with that red breast. Well, that's cool. Two new species we've never caught before. Let's switch over to our our lure fishing rod here. 
see, what have I got on here? Got a spinner? Well, that could be just about anything. Okay, let's see. Go back to the hand up here, guys. Got these two already. What else would these guys go for? Red worms, cheese and eggs for the labios. Marshmallows? Blood worms and bread? Huh. Red worm, minnow, rafters, white? What that is. Must be a new bait. Liver pellets. Huh. Oilies. So that must be two. Oh, we could try, uh, try frogs or spider baits. Those guys. No red worms. A lot of them go for red worms. Frog spoon spinner. Got a spinner on it. I doubt that we'll get a tiger fish out of here, but. Try. See what we get. It's slow retrieve. Oh wow! Oh, that's something. That's spinner bait. No idea what it could be. Not one iota. I'm not getting. Not a huge fish, whatever it is. It kind of surprised me a little bit there. Definitely got action. Alright, come on. Ah. What have we got here? Smallmouth bass. Not bad. This is the up size this to something a little bit bigger. We got a swim bait. We got poppers. We got frogs. We know frogs pretty well. Bass. Know their bass here. Might be worth our while here. We got about a two. We got something right out in front of us too. What it is, but Wish I could zoom in here. I can't do that for some reason. Nothing with that. Or the spinner bait's the only thing we caught anything. We haven't tried the spoon. Frog might be too. Oh, I think. Got a crankbait. That's going to go down to the bottom, so. Constant ret Looks like the sun's going down. This is lovely. Well, something is going for it. Sure. I... Oh, something did grab it. A canary curper. Yeah, it makes three species. Got him. He's little. Real little. 
smallest of the curpers thought. Release him. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to travel around, check out different locations, try some of the missions, find the spots. Try to learn what these guys go for and where they can be found. Okay, I think we got us a good size one here. One we've caught, but I think he might be bigger than the other guy. Oh, yeah, he's... He might be decent size. Let me see here. Still bronze? No, this one's silver. Very nice. Now let me take a look at him. This... Very nice. Alright. Well, I think... We need to go check some things out, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fast travel back to the outboats. See, I think we just... yeah, just like that. And I put you right here, so... Yeah, I don't see any bulletin boards like they had at Norway and some of the other volcanoes. Yep, we got our T-Rex there. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to travel around, around and find the missions. Yeah, it's starting to get to be nighttime. It's going to be hard to see. Well, anyway, guys, that's kind of our first look at the African map. There's a lot here. There's going to be a lot to do. We're going to have to probably do some searching. Find some of these missions. Brachiosaurus. Once we do, we will find some of these other species. But we did find, like I said, three species we have never seen or caught. That, in and of itself, is a success. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look at South African map. I'm not sure if I got that pronunciation right. Zelo. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Call of the Wild, the Angler. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun.